I am Anil Kumar and here is an application question on quadratic equations. This question is from the assignment of my student. Question here is, the hypotenuse of a right triangle is 10 meters. One of the other side is 2 meter longer than the third side. Find the unknown side lengths. So let's sketch a triangle first. Let us say that is the right triangle we are talking about and this is this is the right triangle and what we are given here is that the hypotenuse is 10 meters so this side is 10 meters one of the other side is 2 meters longer than the third so let us say one side is x for us then the other side has to be 2 meters longer so we'll write that as x plus 2 right so that becomes the sides of our triangle right now Let's write down the variables here. We say let the side lens be x and x plus 2. Since we are given that one of the side is 2 meter longer. Now we can relate them with the help of Pythagorean theorem. So we have x plus 2 whole square plus x square equals to 10 square. Let's expand. We get x square plus 2ab, which is 4x, plus 2 square, which is 4, plus x square equals to 100. Now bring the terms to one side. So we get 2x square plus 4x plus 4 minus 100 equals to 0. We can combine the constants. 2x square plus 4x minus 96 equals to 0. Well, you can take two common or divide by 2 or let me write 2 common so we get x square plus 2x minus divide 96 by 2 48 equals to 0 so now we have a quadratic equation which can be solved either by factoring or by quadratic equation your wish right when you have an equation like this you can factor you're looking for two numbers whose product is minus 48 and sum is 2 so the two numbers could be 6 times 8, right? So in that case, I could write this as 2 times, and 8 has to be positive, right? Times x minus 6 equals to 0. So that is one way of doing it. The other way is, of course, you can use the quadratic formula. But this is kind of easier factoring, so I prefer to do with factoring. So now, look at the equation. We have the equation as 2 times x plus 8 times x minus 6 equals to 0. That can give us two solutions. One of the solutions is x equals to minus 8. The other one is x equals to 6. Each factor equated to 0 will give us one solution each. Now this is not valid. Correct? This is not valid. Since the sides cannot be negative, right? So this one is valid. So now we can take x is equals to 6 the other side will be x plus 2. x plus 2 is equal to 8. So we get the two sides. And now we can write the answer that the sides of the triangle are, side lengths are 6, 6 meters, units a meter, and 8 meters. Right? So that is how we can solve such a question. So the idea is first sketch, define your variables relate the variables from the given conditions and and in this case we found Pythagorean theorem very helpful to relate the three in a right triangle and then you can use factoring or you could use quadratic formula to solve the quadratic equation. I hope that helps. Thank you.